Alright, so I'm all call a law, Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Sai, Bahasim, Rechak, Das, and the water, the water, Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Sai, for the spirit and truth. As always, giving double honors to my apostles, the head elders, a great millstone with wealth, and telling me this truth through the spirit of Akadon. And as always, salutations to this according to Wahakim, it's like Wahakim, alright, across the four corners of the earth, that's teaching the truth, and sincerity, faith, and honesty. Alright, and Shalom, Akadon, Akadon, Shalom, Shalom, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Scattered about the four corners of the earth, predestined to be safe in the latter end of Esau's rulership. Right, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Right, I'm my fellow servant, come here, shall I back with another lesson, most of us edifying to the elect. And pretty much, I didn't want to title this uh, John uh, chapter 11, because uh, pretty much I was reading John, uh, a few chapters in John, uh, going into uh, miracles and the things that Yahweh I did. Right, and uh, because I might not go through the whole chapter, but it's uh, a few points that I want to pull out of there concerning the times that we're living in, all right, and the times that we're coming into, all right, the times of uh, miracles, man. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't go to sleep. You know, the spirit had me get up probably like an hour ago, and the spirit just, you know, hit me, I set up and started reading. And it, it, uh, it led me to do this lesson on, you know, I wanted to, you know, I just tired of flowing through the spirit. But the reason why I'm doing this lesson is because John 11 chapter goes in on uh, the, uh, the miracles. One of the miracles that Yahweh Shai and Mashiach did, all right, concerning, or one of the one of the most heaviest miracles that he did, all right. He, 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 he uh, brought vision to a blind man in John uh, 9 chapter, okay. All right, uh, they wanted to stone him then, all right. But... Raising uh, 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 Lazarus from the dead, all right, uh, after being uh, four days, man, okay, where Mary and Martha said his body was stinking, man, all right, but Yahweh Shai told his disciples, look, this happened, this happened so that your faith can be increased, and that's the reason why I'm doing this video, man, all right, because it's going to be certain things that's going to, the most high Yahweh Shai has certain vessels, certain men out here, starting with Elder Pastor Hall on down. Man out there in DTA, man of valor, and man out there that's not affiliated with any camp that believe in Yahweh Shemir Shah, the Lord is look, the Lord know every soul. So the Lord is gonna raise up these vessels, alright? The Lord is gonna raise up these vessels, and they're gonna be uh, uh vessels of honor, man. Just like Yahweh Shai is. Yahweh Shai is the second, alright? He's the second in command, man, over all flesh and all spirits. So what he came down. That's why the scriptures say in the book of Hebrews, the third chapter, matter of fact. Let me get that real quick. Alright. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 3, verse uh, 6. It says, um, But on a uh, certain, oh, Slaki, that's two. Forgive. Hebrews 3 and 6, it says, But Hamashiach, I'm going to start verse 5. Hebrews 3 and 5. And Moses verily was faithful in all his house as a servant. Okay. For a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. Verse 6. But Hamashiach as a son over his own house. Whose house are we? If we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. So that's the point. So Yahweh Shai was the son of his own house, man. Which house are we, man? All right. So Yahweh Shai had what? Yahweh Shai humbled himself. That's why uh, uh, Hebrews, the second chapter, it says, being a little lower than the angels. All right. But but now what? Uh, we we don't see the things that uh, Yahweh Shai have on the planet Earth because the, uh, uh, the, the Earth. It's, it's out of course, man. Why? Because of the rulership that it is, man. All right? So this is why we need Yahweh Shai to return, man, to put things in order, man. All right? Through the Spirit. All right? So I'm going uh, to read uh, John 11 through the Spirit, and uh, I'm going to just let the Spirit take over. This is John chapter 11, verse 1. Now a certain man was sick, named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister and her sister Martha. It was that Mary which anointed the Lord 
with ointment kind in uh, uh, St. Matthew uh, 26 and 7, all right, in the KJV 16 11, uh, goes into uh, the, the uh, miracle or, or the, uh, the great work that she did. And uh, Yahweh Shai uh, marveled at that because uh, that was backed up in uh, the book of Deuteronomy, you know, where it says, uh, uh, do good for the poor, roughly the same man, you know, and she, that goes to show the faith that she that she had to believe that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach was was uh, so called what you would call Christ. All right, he was Hamashiach, man. He was the son of the Most High. All right. These women believed. That's why I'm doing this lesson, man. Because it, it's crazy how you got certain women in the scriptures that that actually believed in Yahweh Hamashiach Shai more than the man of Israel, man. All right. There, there is women out there that believe. All right. You got. And, you know, through the spirit, I was just meditating on this before I did this, going through this lesson. You got brothers out there that's dealing with women. Look, man, our women gonna be, your women going to be in order in the time of Jacob's trouble, bro. All right? I was watching Elder Apostle, uh, I'm sorry, Elder Yashuama video he put up. It was like 21 seconds long. I re-uploaded it. Uh, the earthquake that happened out there in uh, California, 7.1. Pretty much it was the news. It was on the news, and it was an uh, uh, Edomite man and an Edomite woman sitting next to each other. You can actually see the... You know, you can actually see uh, pretty much everything shaking around them. And she was like, look, I, I think it's best. But before she did all that, she grabbed his hand. Here it is. Everything around her is coming into, hey, it could be that day, man. But here it is. The Lord just shaking some shit up. He just, 7.17 7 is complete, man. All right? So the Lord shaking some shit up. And what she did, she, the first thing she did was grab this man's hand. All right, and she was like, look, I think it's best that we just go under the table. Cut this shit short, man. All right? So I said all that to say, women going to be in order when all hell break loose, man. But this go to show, I'm putting this, doing this uh, lesson because it's just going to show that it's, it's women out there, man, that the Lord is going to, uh, uh, the Lord is going to deal with so that they can be saved through child, childbearing, man, according to 2 Timothy, man, 2 and 20. All right, it's going to be certain women out there that Yahweh you know, Shai is going to uh, have for Aki, man. The Lord is not going to leave brothers, all right, just uh, stranded, man. All right, okay, he didn't leave Yahweh you know, Shai stranded. What, what did Yahweh you know, Shai say? I do the he said the Father is with me because I do the things that I always do the things that please him, man. All right, St. John 11, verse 2. It was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment. And wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore her sister, therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. When Yahweh Shai heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but the glory of the Most High, that the Son of the Most High might be glorified thereby. And that's the point, because Yahweh Shai said, We're going to do greater works, man. So when Yahweh Shai heard that, he said, look, his sickness ain't into death. Because the Lord granted me that power. I'm second in command. I got power over life and death, man. Even life over my own body, man. All right. And that's how much power Yahweh Shai got, man. He said, I got power to lay my life down for the sheep in uh, the book of St. John, the 10th chapter, man. All right. And to raise it back up. The Most High gave me that power. Okay. That's what Yahweh Shai said, man. All right. So he like, look, this is, this, this is happening so that. Yahweh can be glorified, all right, through the works, man. That's why when Yahweh Shai was talking to, but Jake was so carnal, all right, the Pharisees, the wicked scribes, they were so carnal that Yahweh Shai said, look, don't, don't look at me, believe the works, man. Don't look at me, look at the, believe the works, glorify the Heavenly Father, man, all right? That's why before anything ever happened, Majority of the time, Yahweh Shai would bring out a parable, man. He would bring out the parable, and then what? Jacob be bugging out. The Jews in that time would be bugging out. Be like, yo, what you mean about this? Well, am I blind? This and this and that. But this was what was the breakdown of the parable, man. You know? So the Lord always, he, he was he is that prophet, man. He was spoken about, man. All right? In the, in the Old Testament, man. Okay? Because when he, when he was speaking these things, they couldn't, they couldn't get it. All right. Matter of fact, let me get a uh, precept. Con. This is uh, Saint John, chapter eight, verse 
42. Yahweh Shai said unto them, If the Most High were your father, ye would love me. This is St. John 8 and 42. Yahweh Shai said unto them, If the Most High were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from the Most High. Neither came I for my, of myself, but he sent me. This is the point, verse 43. Why do ye not understand my speech? Even because ye cannot hear my word, man. So they cannot understand why Yahweh was going into the, uh, why he was speaking in parables. Even the disciples at the time, man. When Yahweh had to break it down, which I'm going to read about, he was like, look, man, Lazarus is dead. That's what it is, man. So Yahweh had to break certain things down multiple times. And what? Jake wanted to stone him, man. Jake wanted to put Yahweh to death. Why? Because they didn't have faith. They didn't believe. See? And we're coming into that same time, man. Where there's going to be certain miracles. It's going to be certain men that the Heavenly Father is going to use as vessels to uh, bestow this power upon. So that the Heavenly Father, through Yahweh can get his glory, man. All right? And that's where you're going to get uh, uh, recognition. Because the scriptures say in uh, the book, I think, uh, Zephaniah, praise and fame in the land where they were put to shame. Well, praise and fame is going to be the only Being exalted come from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's Psalm 75 and 7, man. Promotion cometh not from the east nor the west, but the heavenly Father. So you're going to get that praise and that fame, whoever the Most High have that mercy on to give that power to, so that he can get his glorification, his recognition, all right? The Lord is going to give you that that uh, 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 that recognition, man. But it's in due time, and it's going to come by miracles happening, man. All right? A lot of things Yahweh Shai did, man, that people just forget about, man. Don't speak about. That's why you had a prophecy today. All right? To go into these things, man. John chapter 11. It's like John chapter 11, verse uh, 3. Therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. When Yahweh Shai heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but, a, but for the glory of the Most High, that the son of Yahweh might be glorified thereby. Now Yahweh Shai loved Martha, right? So Yahweh Shai loved particular women that were following him, man. Are you, uh, you have the famous account that brothers always bring out or that a lot of people in the world know, but they don't really believe and they don't really acknowledge that and they don't really read about it. Uh, uh, the woman that uh, touched the hem of his garment so that her, uh, her uh, blood, uh, her, uh, uh, you know, her, she can be healed, man. All right. I can't find the words for it, but basically so that she can be healed from her, uh, you know, her, her, you know, things she was going through, man. All right. So what the Most High Yahweh Shai put uh, uh, Yahweh Shai put it on her spirit to actually believe. And the Lord said, "Who touched me?" And and the Lord had multiple people put, uh, touching him at that time, man. All right. But what? It was about faith, man. That's why the Lord. It, when you read the scriptures, at the end of the chapters, majority of the time it say, "And the Lord departed, or the Lord escaped." All right. Out of the hands of the Jews, for they sought to slay him, for they sought to stone him. All right? Why? Because what the Lord said, he came to cause division, man. Division in what? Israel. Division upon those that believe and those that don't believe, man. That's how the Lord was rocking, man. And he had, and you had, you got accounts where certain uh, scribes and Pharisees, you got accounts where certain uh, scribes and Pharisees, there was division amongst them because they actually believed in the Lord. Here it is, they bucking up against the Lord, saying he got a devil on him, bringing him to the council. But you have certain men, and you have certain men actually believing, like, yo, if this man got a devil on him, how can he work miracles, man? If this man got a, de a devil on him, how can he bring a man to, to, to uh, vision? All right? Because if you if you deceiving somebody, how the fuck you going to heal him? That don't make no sense. But what niggas was in that law so heavy, man? Niggas didn't believe in the niggas ain't have faith. Niggas was just out there. All right, Yahweh Shai came to institute, man, faith, man. All right, that through him, that's why he said, "I am the door." All right, I am the good shepherd, man. Okay, I am the bread of life. Okay, that's why when we he had that Passover, when we have the Passover, man. 
All right, the bl the blood and, and they couldn't get it. The blood and the uh, 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 the blood, which was his blood. He said, "Drink this blood for it is my blood." You know, drink the wine is my blood. They couldn't understand that, man. And why? Because they weren't spiritual, man. Jake was not spiritual, man. That's why two thirds gave him up. That's why he said, "Ye are of your father the devil, man." Why can't you not understand what I'm telling you? Okay. Because two thirds of our people are the same people that wanted to stone your house shy. Crucify your house shy, man. Get your house shy up. Don't believe in him. That's why I said the great uh, the servant is not greater than his master. You think everybody just gonna love you because you, you nah, man. Ain't nobody gonna the only people that's gonna fuck with you in this in this society, in this world, in this time that we live in, in this age we living in, alright? Is the is the men of the Lord, man. Alright, that's it, bro. All the, and, and those that believe. Nobody else don't give a fuck about you, man. Scripture say, let the incredulity die in the incredulity, man. All right? Let all the unfaithful die in the unfaithless, man. All right? St. John 11, verse 5. Now Yahweh Shai loved Martha and her sister in Lazarus. Lazarus. When he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. Then after that, saith he to his disciples, let us go into Judea again. His disciples said unto him, Master, the Jews of late sought to stone thee, and goest thou thither again? All right, because what? Yahweh Shai is the spirit. He was in the spirit, man. All right, he knew that this was, uh, he had to do work. That's why he said, there cometh a day where no man can work, man. All right, but now it is time. All right, it is time to work, okay? Uh, I'm going to jump up. I don't want to make this too long. All right, verse 11, it says, These these things said he, speaking of the Shai, and after that he said unto them, Our friend Lazarus sleepeth, but I go that I may awake him out of sleep. Then said his disciples, Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. Howbeit, Shai spake of his death, but they but they thought that he had spoken of taking of rest and sleep. So here it is, even the disciples didn't even understand what Shai was saying when he was asleep. It was like, yo. Yeah, I was shy. He's sleep. Why you gonna go back there, man? Have, have Jake on your head, man, trying to kill you. What you mean? You know he sleep. Let that man sleep. But yeah, I was shy. Said, look, man. In, in, in lack of better terms, yeah, I was shy. Said, then said yeah, I was shy to them plainly. Lazarus is dead, man. All right. All right. So what? We're coming into the times where yeah, I was shy. Said we gonna do greater works, man. All right. It's lucky. Let's see if. Uh, Oh, kind of, hey, that's, hey, that's what I want to see just in case a brother was uh, watching. I don't want you brothers to think I'm not uh, coming and whatnot. But y'all watch so much I want to thumb. But yeah, so y'all I said, Lazarus is dead, man. All right, he plainly said it. So that what? So that the miracle can be worked, man. But the, the reason why I'm doing this lesson is because it was actually women that believed more than, than, than uh, Jake, man. What is that showing that what? It's going to be women in the time, even though like Elder Pastor R.C. going down, you know, he ain't no woman in the truth. And that's the truth, man. It ain't, if women be like they in the truth, they not really in the truth, man. When 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 Jacob's trouble hit, when you watch that movie Bushwick, all right, it start off, she with her man, her man died. Who's she looking for? She looking for a man. Then you're going to be like, damn, these bitches all on me, man. That's why the scripture says Isaiah 4 and 1. Seven women shall cleave unto one man. Woman, woman don't. Woman is a body, man. She needed protection. She needed a man. She ain't got no fucking strength, man. Her strength is, is trusting in Esau, Edom, and a dollar bill. But when both of them things fell, who's she gonna look for? Her power source, man. But what we got curses on us, man. You see? But we're coming into the time where these curses are revolving revol revol on to the uh, Esau, Edom, man. All right. Who is our adversary, man? Our biggest adversary. Because all these other nations, these other heathen nations, are our, our, our adversary, man. Okay? But our, your top enemy, okay, is uh, Esau Edom, man. The one that was fighting you from the womb, man. Who the Most High predestined to be the servant of Jacob. See? We're coming into the end of Esau's rulership and the beginning of it that followed, man. That's why it's coming down with great wrath. You see? But what we got Yahweh why Yahweh shy, man. That's why I'm doing this lesson. We got Yahweh why Yahweh shy. Just believe. Alright, so I'm gonna jump down to the point. John chapter 11, verse 21. 
Then said Martha unto Yahweh, Lord, right, because this is a time where Lazarus, he's been asleep for four, uh, he's been dead, if you will, for four days, man. So she was like, look, man, his body stink, you know. But here it is, the woman is running up to the Lord, and she believe. She running up to the Lord. She know the Lord. All right, and here it is. This is a time where Jake's supposed to be reading the scriptures, man. That's why t this is the same generation, man. These people ain't reading the scriptures. If they were reading the scriptures and they knew, and they could, and they had the spirit to discern, they would know that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach was was in that time, man. That was Hamashiach, or that was the Christ when you read the scriptures, which just means the anointed, man. But they didn't believe and they didn't know why, because they weren't reading. Okay. That's why Yahweh Shai cut them. Matter of fact, let me get that. Yahweh Shai cut the hell out of them. I think that's in John 8, 2. Yeah, cunt, here it is. This is John chapter 8, verse 55. I'm going to start at verse 54. Yahweh Shai answered. I'm going to start at verse 53. It says, are thou greater than our father? So this is uh, Jake speaking to Yahweh Shai, man. It says, Are thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead? Jake carnal, bro. And the prophets are dead? Whom? So they said, Whom makest thou thyself? Yahweh Shai answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing, man. Okay? It is my father that honoreth me, of whom ye say, that is your God. Yet ye have not known him, but I know him. And if I should say, I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him and keep his sins, man. So you how much I was cutting the fuck out of Jake, man. And that's why later on in this later on a few verses it says, Then then took they up stones to cast at him, man. So what they want to stone you how Why? Because your how I was putting that truth on the ass, man. All right? And they couldn't take it, man. All right? That's why he was. He said he came to uh, 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 cause, uh, 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 to send a sword to divide, man. To divide those that believe and those that do not, do not believe in the Lord, man. Him being the word, man. Okay? He said, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world, man. Being what? The knowledge. Okay? Being the truth. And Jake couldn't perceive it then. So how much more now, man? Being that same people that's coming back. They don't believe. All right? This is all about faith, man. All right? This is all about faith and believing. That's why Yahweh Shai said in Luke. Let's get that real quick. This is uh, Luke. Chapter, I believe, uh, 8 or 18. God, I swear I got to be 18. Yeah, I wish I was not playing with, with Jake, bro. So, lock it. 10. Might be 10. I might be going all the way. So, I got to be 8. 8 and 18. Forgive. Damn, it ain't that either. Alright, hold up. I'm gonna be like, damn, that's it right there. Uh, scripture says, Shall I find faith when I return? I forgot where it's at. My brothers know what I'm talking about. He said, when I return, shall I find faith? Because that's why the miracles, the things that were done. Okay. All right, kind. So it was 18. Kind. 18. Alright, this is uh, St. Luke chapter 18. St. Luke chapter 18, uh, verse uh, 7. And shall not the Messiah avenge his own elect? So the Lord only care about the elect, man. 
You only care about the elect. The Lord ain't dealing with everybody, man. All right? Which cry day and night unto him. Right. And how are we crying day and night unto the Lord? About constantly putting out the prayers, man. The scriptures say in the book of to Tobit 12 and 15, the prayer of the saint pierces the cloud, man. All right? Matter of fact, in the book, the book of John, which we're reading, it says, uh, now we know the blind man who the most high, uh, uh, Yahweh, through your sight, he gave that, uh, uh, he gave that, he did that miracle, all right, to heal that blind man. The blind man said, Look, now we know that the most high heareth not sinners, but he that doeth the will of the most high, him he heareth, man. All right. So, so who are that? That's the that's the man of the Lord that's here on the planet earth, man. All right, that believe in your house, man. Okay, to, to uh, 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 with all their heart, man, and that's doing the will, okay. So it says, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. So the Lord is bearing long with us, long suffering with us, man. Why? For, for the fulfilling of the word. Verse 8, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the son of man cometh, all right, shall he find faith on the earth? So here it is. That, that go to show you reincarnation in the scriptures too. Because you got to be in the spirit to understand why would you have a shy say when the son of man cometh if he talking to them face to face, man. All right. That's why Revelation is the first chapter. Tell you what he cometh with clouds. OK, Revelation 3 and 11. He cometh quickly, man. Isaiah 66 and 15. What he uh, uh, behold, he come with fire and his chair is like a whirlwind. So you got to understand the prophecies. And that's why Jake was bugging out. Because anytime they went to go speak to Yahushua, Yahushua was cutting them with the scriptures, going into the old, he was referring to the Old Testament, man. Since they knew the law. All right. Going back to John. J.A.J. was getting cut the fuck up, bro. That's some wicked ass scribes and Pharisees, man. All right. This is uh, John 11. Verse 15, it says, I'm starting verse 14, it's lucky. Then say Yahweh Shah to them plainly, Lazarus is dead, and I am glad for your sakes that I was not there. And uh, uh, quote, uh, come on, it says, to the intent that ye might believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. Come. So Yahweh Shah said, look, I'm glad that I wasn't uh, in, the city, in that city, man, so that this miracle can be worked so that your faith can be increased. All right, so now I'm gonna jump to the point. Let's go. Let's go to uh, verse 39, where it says, "I'm sorry, uh, verse 34," and said, "Where have ye laid him?" So this is Yahweh Shai speaking. They said to him, "Lord, come and see." Yahweh Shai wept. So Yahweh Shai wept when he was uh, coming into the time to go see uh, Lazarus, man. All right, why? Because he he had compassion on on on, on uh, Martha. Okay, Mary and Lazarus, man. Why? Because they believed in him, man. All right? You know? What's this chapter goes into? All right? Verse 36. Then said the Jews, Behold, how he loved him. All right? And some of them, hey, hey if your house side love you, man, that's a beautiful thing, man. If your house side love you, man, that's a beautiful thing, man. And that's what we uh, hope for, you know? Because the scriptures say the things that are seen, why does a man hope for it? But the things that are not seen. All right. So you see, we we hope for Yahweh Shai returning. All right, and and and, and uh, uh, raising us up. All right. Matter of fact, let me get a precept on that in the Book of Acts. All right, Acts chapter two. New <clears throat> spirit and power, Yahweh Shai. Acts chapter two. Let's see what King David said about Yahweh Shai. Acts chapter 2, verse 24. I'm going to start verse 23. Him, him which is Yahweh Shai, being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of the Most High, ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain. Right, so what? Eventually what? Two-thirds didn't believe in the Lord, so they gave him up. Verse 24. Whom the Most High have raised up, having loosed the pains of death, because it is not possible that he should be holding of it, for David speaketh concerning him. This is what David said. I foresaw the Lord always by before my face, for he is on my right hand that I shall not be moved. So this is the point, verse 26. 
Therefore, did my heart rejoice. So our, our mind is rejoicing, man, because we're the house of David. You know why our heart is rejoicing? Because we believe that when Yahweh shall return, we're going to be just like him. Because what? We're doing what, he, what, what is required of us to do, man, to the best of our ability, man. All right? That's what a good, faithful servant would do, according to St. Matthew 24 and 46. Blessed is that servant whom when the Lord return, he shall find so doing. Doing what? Doing the work, man. All right? Doing the work. Being a prophet, standing on our watchtower, man. Okay? When, so when Yahweh shall return, why do you feel doubtful? Why are you in shame? Okay? Why are you in that war is me spirit? You see? But the men of the Lord, the prophets are here. All right? Because they're doing exactly what Yahweh told them to do through the spirit, man. All right, and they're not going to feel the same about that, man. Why? Because they got the double portion. They got the comfort. That's why the scriptures say comfort one another with these words so that we all can be comforted. That when Yahweh shall return, we're going to be just like him, man. We're going to be, we're going to be partakers of the glory because we suffered with him, man. That's Romans the 8th chapter, man, around the 17th verse. Acts chapter 2, verse 24. Whom the Most High have raised up, have loosened the pains of death because it is not possible that he should be holding of it. For David speaketh concerning him, I foresaw the Lord always before my face, for he is on my right hand, that I shall not be moved. It's the point. Therefore did my heart rejoice, and my tongue was glad. Okay, that's why we give all praise to Yah Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's the point. Moreover, also my flesh shall rest in hope, man. All right? So that's why scripture says, whether we live, we live for the Lord. Whether we die, we die for the Lord. Why? Because we're going to rest in hope so that when the Lord return, all right, whether we, whether we, whether we do got to live out, uh, give our life for the Lord, okay, we're going to be raised up, man. Because what? The scripture is saying, St. John chapter 8, verse 51, verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death, man. All right? So believest thou this? All right? You got to believe in the Lord. And and really, you got to give your whole heart over to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Ultimately, you got to serve Yahweh Shai, man. You got to get under the under the yoke of Yahweh Shai, which is do the will. Okay? That's what's pleasing in the sight of the Most High. Okay? Because that's why he, he sent Yahweh Shai down here for, man. All right? Okay? To 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 uh, to uh to get rid of sin out of Jake, man. All right? That's Isaiah the 50, uh, 53rd chapter, man. All right? To purify us. So why not give your life for the Lord? You know, because what? John chapter 10, verse 14. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine. As the father knoweth me, even so I know the father and I lay down my life for the sheep, man. So the Lord laid down his life for us, bro. All right. Yeah, how was shy? How much shot, man? Second in command. He didn't have to do that, bro. All right. But what? He did that because... What he 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 loved he loved uh, Yahweh man and ultimately uh, he's the word of the Most High man and the Most High word spoke and met uh, and manifested the, uh, the end from the beginning man okay that's why when you read the Book of John the first chapter it tell you uh, in him was that light and he was the light of the world all right and uh, 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 matter of fact let's get that because that's heavy. Hey, I told you the spirit been heavy on me in the book of John, bro. Through the spirit. For those that need it, you know. We labor not for ourselves, but for all those that seek wisdom. Surah 33. Okay, and Surah 34 and 24, man. All right, this is uh, St. John chapter 1, verse 8. He was, uh, uh, slow, verse 9. That was the true light, speaking of Yahweh Shai, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, which meaning what? Uh, the cosmos, meaning uh, uh, Jake, all right? Meaning uh, uh, Israel, okay? All right? So that what? He can light them up with what? With this knowledge, man. All right? With the truth. That's why he said, I am the door. I am the bread of life, okay? When he was giving out these parables, he was telling them what? I am the way. And But that, but Jake couldn't get it because what? They was looking at him carnally. They didn't believe. They weren't reading the scriptures. They weren't studying so that they could know when this man come, this is how he going to be. But going into John 11 chapter, you had women that believed that he was the he was Hamashiach, man. You had certain homeless men, beggars, that believed that he was Hamashiach, Yahushai. And that's who the Lord was dealing with, man. He wasn't dealing with the proud, man. That's why, he, matter of fact, let's get that real quick. 
All right? The Lord was not dealing with proud-ass individuals, man. Because look, this is John chapter 9, verse 39. I'm going to start at verse 38. And he said, Lord, I slot. And he said, Lord, I believe, and he worshiped him. Speaking of uh, uh, Jake, who was blind, all right, but Yahweh Shai worked that miracle and told him to go to the, uh, uh, go to, uh, um, uh, um, the lake uh, Salaam, Salaam, which means a uh, uh, scent, all right, so that uh, he can uh, 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 get his vision back, all right, so that Yahweh Shai can be glorified, man, all right? Verse 39, and Yahweh Shai said, for judgment I come to into this world, okay, going back to John the first chapter. He was in the world, and the world knew him not. So it says, and Yahweh Shai said, for judgment I come into this world, all right, the world of Israel, because we are a world within ourselves. The scriptures tell you that, a world without end. All right, look it up, man. The fuck? It's, it's in the scriptures. That they, that they would see not might see, so there it is. So they would see not, man, might see. And what that, that's why you have the men of Great Millstone, chiefly uh, DTA, men of valor, brothers who what, uh, who was out there in the world, that that what they 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 had the spirit on them to want to know what was going on, but they were they were blinded from uh from these things, man. All right, but what then? The Yahweh Shimei uh, Shai put the spirit on them to actually hear, because the scripture say faith come by hearing. So then, when they heard the word, what then they were built up, man. All right. Okay. And then what the Lord gave us that vision, which is what the, the prophecies to understand the scriptures. All right. So that we can see. So that's why he said. And, uh, and Yahweh Shai said, for judgment I come into this world that they would see not, might see. So we were what? That's why Scripture said, the uh, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free, man. He that is least in the kingdom shall be greatest. And what? Yahweh Shai also said, the last shall be first. Okay? So what? Are we not last? Do not the Scripture say, I have sent the apostles last? Are we not apostles? Are we not sent forth, man? All right? So what? We're going to be first, greater in the kingdom, man. Why? Because we sacrifice everything. And this is the breakdown of St. Matthew's 19 chapter, man. When the disciples said, what shall we get for all these things? For we have given our life for you, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. What shall we gain? He said, those that gave their life for me shall receive a hundredfold, man. So what? They were least. They were disciples. They were disciplined. Okay? They were apostles. All right? But now what? They're going to receive that salvation, man. Every man according to their work. Every man according to that order. You see? And that's what you have right now, the, the house of David, man. Lively stones, man. All right? Okay, ain't, ain't no stopping, man. It's just the beginning. The Lord just getting started, man. Fuck wrong with you, people. Uh, John chapter 9, verse 39. And Yahweh Shai said, For judgment I come into this world, that they would see not might see, and that they would see might be, bl might be made blind, man. Okay, so there it is for all you, all you, 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 these kemps out here. They got it all, all right. You know, you got the, you got the nice garments, all right. You, you got the subscribers. You got the, you got everything, man. You got the money, all right. You got the schools. You, you able to fill up. The, you could, you able to, are you, are you able to block off whole streets, okay. But when it come down, when it come down to believing in your house shot, what you call us? Start. What you call Elder Pastor Harlan down? Faith-based Israelites, man. Why? Because you don't have faith. All right? This ain't about how much you know, okay? This ain't about being a uh, 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 him. <laughs> this is about just strictly believing that you do your, do your howl. When to get to the most high, you going you believe in your howl shy, worshiping your howl shy by default, you worship the most high. Believing in, believing in him. All right, believe it in y'all, boss me outside. That's your salvation. That's your ticket out of here, man. Because ain't shit you can do for the Lord. We filthy, All right? But you have particular women that believe in the Lord more than men. All right. So yeah, you know, pretty much. Hey, that's the point, man. I ain't wanna, you know, hey, like hey, the title says, going through the Spirit. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out on this precept through the Spirit and call y'all, boss me outside. The Lord's will, this was edifying to the elect. This is Sir Akin. This is uh, St. John chapter 6, verse 33. 
For the bread of the Most High is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Right. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. So what? Jake was being carnal then. Lord, what is bread that you're talking about, man? You know, what is bread? And we following you. We out here and we out here stranded. You know, we you talking about five loaves of bread and some fish. You're going to feed this whole multitude. Like, you know, like what, what is what is what is bread of life that you talking about, man? I'm trying to get it. You know? So Yahweh Shai said, verse 35, and Yahweh Shai said unto them, I am the bread of life. Okay? He that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not, man. So those same people out here, man. Same people that have seen Yahweh and believe not in him. Those are the same people walking the earth right now. Why? How do you know that? Because when you pull out the scriptures, all right, you speak the word of Yahweh Shai, they 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 ready to uh, cast you out, man. Okay. The servant is not greater than his master, man. Okay. The only glory and recognition you're gonna get is from Yahweh Yahweh Shai, man. Verse 39, and this is the Father's will which have sent me, that of all which he have given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And that's what's getting ready to happen, man. Yahweh Shai has already risen us up through the Spirit. That's spiritual power. That's Ezekiel the 37th uh, chapter, I'm not mistaken, all right? The Valley of Dry Bones. Because the Lord said, Yahweh Shai said, it, uh, uh, it shall be one shepherd, man. Right, it shall be one fold. What was he talking about? Northern, uh, southern, and northern kingdom, man. Scattered and brought the four corners of the earth. That's why you had the uh, the guy in the book of Acts, uh, Caiaphas, I believe. Caiaphas. All right. He uh, he was one of the Pharisees uh, when the divisions br broke out. He was one of the Pharisees that believed, and he prophesied that Yahweh Shai, all right, was going to be the one to uh, uh, bring us together, man. He prophesied that, man. All right. All right, so we coming down to the walking, man, of those that have the faith and that, and, and that don't believe, man. That's what Yahweh Shai was bringing, man. All right, those that believe and that, those that don't do not believe, man. And you have a lot of camps out here that's uh, faking the flaunt, man, all right, that do not believe in the scriptures, but they're doing this because they are wolves and sheep closing, man. But they're going to be exposed in this time, all right? So like I said, Lord's Willis was edifying to the elect, man. You know, just flowing through the spirit. You know, just the video, the spirit was hot. You know, so I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kadash, and the Wadi Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for the spirit and truth. And as always, double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone, hungry wall, and taught me this truth through the spirit, Brock Adam, out there in New York. All right, and um, salutations to the Sequani Wa'achim. All right, Shalom, Wa'achim, Wa'achim, Shalom, Wa'achim, Shalom, Wa'achim, Shalom, Wa'achim, Shalom, Wa'achim, Shalom, Wa'achim, Shalom, Wa'achim